this is Ivy. A new event called Fairy Tale Bottle is coming to our server, and because there are a few special mechanics to know for this event, I thought it would be helpful to make another step-by-step -step guide to walk you through everything about it. So here we go. This, these are the two event suits we'll be getting, and um, we will have a special event map for this. However, it's going to be a little bit different from the other uh, event maps that we've been having because all of these style battles have a special requirement where we have two themes but we can only use one suit so your one suit has to be applicable for both themes and then so you can't get an F for either of the themes and your score for both themes can't be different from each other by more than 10,000 points so you'll see what I mean very quick for level 1 we can just use Rose Maiden if you want a really quick shortcut so here we have the first match you see me like getting these different scores for the different attributes however keep in mind this is only the first match this is the first theme and then we should be getting a final score very soon over here so my first theme score is 54335 and then we'll go straight ahead into the second theme using the same outfit the system will just use, use the same outfit you already had um, and then um, we will again have these different attributes and arrive at a final score again in a minute over here 49337 so you notice how the difference between 54335 and 49337 is smaller than 10,000 so that means I passed and then I got the special effect that rewards me six um, event currencies um, so but if you don't get that 10,000 like less than 10,000 score difference if you can't achieve that that's totally okay too, like you will still get event currencies, you just won't get the maximum 6. So now we have the second level over here, and the shortcut suit, the lazy suit for this is the swordsman suit, and then here you have, you see, like, I didn't even get S for both. I just got like some, like, B or C, I think, and I still got this special effect, a special reward of 6 event currencies. So you don't need to get, like, SS, you just need... The key here is to control that 10,000 score difference. And again, you can just use the lazy suit shown on here. This is a lazy suit for level 3 or stage 3. Um, however, keep in mind for that, that for these lazy suits, sometimes they don't really work. Um, just depends on the person because you also have to make sure to bring your skills. So if you try out any of these, lazy suit like this is the fifth lazy suit secret doctor and if they don't work the first time then try something else like don't keep wasting your diamonds on it this is just for if you're like me and you only have five minutes to do the event in the morning then though that's probably like a quicker way to just use the lazy suit and then here you have like the different items that we can get and speaking of items, one thing to know for this event is that each item tells you part of a overall story. So here we have the first part, and this is the first part of the white suit story too. Where basically we find out that she is a fairy who used to be locked up in a bottle that was small and dark and she couldn't see anything. She was just by herself until one day a man picked up the bottle and released the fairy. So the catch here is that the man actually could not see the fairy. Like fairies are invisible to humans. So even though the man released the fairy, he didn't realize there was someone there. And so, despite the fact that the fairy wants to devote her entire being to this man, he cannot see her. He's, she's just invisible to him, which is very sad. And uh, before I forget, one thing about this event is that you see those event currencies still there in my wardrobe. And that is because this event does come back. It's going to be a recurring event with new suits. And then after you finish each suit, you will be able to proceed to the next suit. Um, and you'll get that 1,000 event currency rewards. So um, here I am starting the route for the purple suit, which is the second suit for my choosing. You can choose whether to do the white suit first or the purple suit first. And um, now that we got over with all that, let's check out the suits themselves. This is a white suit special pose, and then we'll start with her special pose hair. 
This is the pose itself. The knees always kind of throw me off a little bit, but we have this giant glass ornament with flowers to make up for it. And um, and again, like the knees, they, they're a little bit, you know, uh, skewed in my opinion, but the pose is very beautiful. So I'm just not gonna play and complain about it. And then we have wings and makeup for it too. And this is the uh, view mode in the free dressing so you can see more of the parts in detail. And I love this ornament. This ornament will probably start some stereo corridor trend because it is just so well made. And um, like you can use the flowers in different ways too. Like everything that comes with flowers always find some creative use in Siri Corridor. And then there's this butterfly item too. It's really small. So, so you know, there's not much you can manipulate with it, but, but it's like nice coloring and everything. And now we have the normal pose for the suit. So um, this is actually the normal pose here. It's different from the special pose here. And then we have this gorgeous white dress and the shoes. And we can see the shoes more clearly by itself. And then the butterfly again and the headdress, the wings, and then the makeup. So this is her normal pose, very nicely broken out, and I wanted to show you how she would look in the normal pose with different hairs. So we have like the gray hair here. Because the dress is white, it actually works well with you know all kinds of different styles and colors of hairs. And here we have the different skin colors that um, shows how they would go with the dress and the outfits too. Now let's switch gear and talk about the purple suit. Keep in mind that I personally picked the white suit first. I got the white suit first, but if you like the purple suit more, you can get her first too before you get the white suit. So here we have the purple suit special pose and then her giant hat. She also comes with these fluffy ears too that you can see once you take off the hat. And then this candy-like accessory as well as her own makeup. And then we're just gonna go into the view mode again to see her by herself because her items are kind of like spread out to the side so we had to like shrink her a little bit to see all of them in their glory. And then we can also see this um, candy like accessory again over here. It just reminds me of like cotton candy for some reason. <laughs> um, so, so those are the um, special pose items for the purple suit and now we have the normal pose. Again, she is broken out very nicely. You have like the hosiery and the shoes and everything now. There's the hair, this is a dress in the normal pose view and then the socks by themselves. Um, I feel like they're a little bit schoolgirl like almost the socks so you can like use them for more casual outfits too and then you have this giant handheld item that's like a crystal bottle slash it reminds me a little bit of an umbrella so um very nicely done like kudos to the artist all of those details are just so eye-catching and then again we have the hat and the ears um like the hat is just so adorable too and then we have the gloves and the makeup so um, I want to show you the gloves by themselves here too. They're a little bit like on the longer side. Like they're a little bit longer than I expected. And then like the hat and the ears. So that's the normal pose. Um, I feel like obviously the normal pose is you know more gothic Lolita. But you can also show different hairs with her. Like that Starcy hair finally looking kind of good. And then we have the stunning beauty hairs. Um... I guess like even the more mature hairstyles work uh, kind of well with the normal pose just because like the dress is kind of a dark purple color so if you have like a more mature hair it doesn't like throw you off too much so that is the normal pose and now we have the different skin color showcase as well um like the the dress is like a little bit on the dark side so we don't get like all those translucent details but I still think that she is beautiful and here we have the view mode display of her with the darker skin too and now let's get to the costs maybe you have been waiting for this as we were going through the suit parts and then um, do keep in mind that we have to pick one of the suits to get first so if you choose to get the white suit first then these are the cost of all the items assuming we have seven days and we use all of the free tries 
So you can actually get the headdress, the shoes, and the head ornament for free with the free tries. However, the wings will go to 120 diamonds, and then the hair is 510. The makeup is, I think, 900 something, and then the dress, like the whole suit, will be 1380. So, and then we have all of these completion prizes. So, if you choose to get the white suit first, then the white suit by itself will be 1380 diamonds. Again, the detail of this breakout is also in the video descriptions. And then, so now you got the white suit, you pick the white suit first, and then um, you will get the purple suit second. So, this is the cost for the purple suit um, and the different parts break out over here. So by this point, you will have already spent 1380 diamonds. However, completing the white suit first gives you 1000 event currencies to be used toward this purple suit. So that's why you see that the first few parts, the shoes, the hosiery, and the gloves, um, the, and the headdress slash the hat are all 1380. And then um, the total suit comes out to be 2820. So if you pick the white suit first, you will get the white suit and the purple suit for 2820 diamonds. So what if you wanted to get the purple suit first? Then here is the cost breakdown of all the parts. So for the purple suit, if you get it first, you can actually get a lot of the parts for free. Basically the socks, the shoes, the gloves, the headdress, and the ears can be received for free just with the free tries over the seven days and then the hair is 360 diamonds the handheld right side item 600 the makeup 960 and finally the dress 1380 diamonds so if you pick the purple suit first then the purple suit by herself will be 1380 diamonds and then you will receive these completion items completion prizes and also a one thousand event currency bonus to be used towards the next suit which in this case will be the white suit so here we have the white suit cost breakdown if you chose the purple suit first if that makes sense and then the headdress shoes head ornament and um yeah those three items we can basically use those bonus event currencies from the purple suit to get so we don't have to pay any extra diamonds they will just be 1380 like the amount we pay for the purple suit however for if you want to get the rest of the white suit the total comes out to be 2820 so if you choose the purple suit first then the purple plus the white suits together will be 2820 diamonds so if you know you're getting both suits it doesn't really matter if you get the white suit or the purple suit first it just depends on which story you want to hear and for top scoring items i know a lot of newer players would be asking for it however honestly everyone gets their top score items from ln.nikis.info made by the one and only sweet cupcake so you don't really need me to tell you to like which parts are um, top scoring because it's all listed on the website so if we just go to ln.nikis.info over here this really beautifully made website and then we go to what's new all of the top scoring parts will be like listed here for pretty much every single event so sweet cupcake is super good at updating the website on time so please be sure to thank her as well and last but not least thank you so much for watching this video i know it was a little bit on the long side but i wanted to get all of the nuances in and if you found it helpful or fun please like and subscribe and i will see you next time